If your Google ads are not converting, then I've got three tips that you can apply to your campaigns today that will hopefully improve the performance of your campaigns. You most likely know Google ads is not set and forget. So make sure you pay attention to these three tips and make sure you stay through to the end of the video as well, because I also throw in a bonus tip as well. Let's get started. So the first tip I have is to really focus on the keywords that you're targeting. Choosing the right keywords is critical to the success of your campaigns. Hopefully you're familiar with the concept of a sales funnel in marketing, where the people at the bottom of the funnel are at the start of their purchasing journey, they're browsing, they're researching, they're not quite ready to make a decision. But as they work their way down the funnel towards the bottom of the funnel, these are the people who are know exactly what they want to buy or what service they need, and they're ready to make a buying decision. They're just deciding who they're going to buy from. Those are the kinds of keywords that you want to target. Very intent-based keywords that are really um, somebody who's identified themselves as knowing exactly what they want. They're just trying to decide who sells that product or who provides that service. And then your job is to really swipe in front of them at that very instant. So you need to really focus on very intent Based keywords. So have a look at the keywords that you're bidding on and think to yourself, does this sound like somebody who is ready to make a decision? If not, then possibly think of the keywords that they would likely use when they're really at that bottom of the funnel. I see this mistake happen with people all the time. They choose very generic kinds of keywords, possibly even a single keyword they bid on in their Google ad campaign. And it's just too broad. It's too wide. You've got to kind of think a lot more narrow. To further illustrate this point, I'll give you an example. In my own business, I was running Google search ads to promote a retargeting course that I was teaching people. This here is the, is the URL and my course teaches people how to create a retargeting campaign on Facebook and on Google pretty self-explanatory, right? So I was creating Google search ads to get in front of people who were wanting to learn how to create such campaigns. The problem was I was bidding on really general type keywords. So people, so here you can see the keyword retargeting ads, retargeting strategy, remarketing strategy. People, I was getting clicks, but no conversions. And this is because it wasn't really getting in front of people who were wanting to learn how to do retargeting. They were interested in retargeting ads and the strategy, but these are not people who were wanting to learn how to implement it. So it was a different kind of person that I was getting in front of. So I had cho chosen the wrong keywords. The second tip I have is to really look at your search term report. Hopefully you are aware that the keyword you're bidding on is really different to the search term that your ad has showed up for. This because it depends on the match type of the keyword that you have set up. I'll put a link in the description for two separate videos I have, one that talks about match types of keywords and the other which talks about the difference between keywords and search terms. You really need to understand this. So have a look in your search term report and what you need to think to yourself is, is this somebody at the bottom of the funnel? Is this somebody who's ready to take action that when they click on my ad goes to a page that is relevant to what they have just typed in? Is there a match? And if it's not, then you need to add it as a negative keyword. There's two ways you can add negative keywords. You can just click on here and click add as a negative keyword, or you can go to the negative keyword section and add it in that way and possibly use a negative keyword list if you like. All right. But you really want to make sure you look through there to make sure you're showing up for the right thing. The third tip I have really relates to ad copy. I think that ad copy has two main purposes to filter the right people to click and to filter out the wrong people so they don't even bother clicking. Your ad copy must be really clear and explain what your offer is or what your service is so that when they get to your website, it's not a surprise. So here in my ad copy, I really talk about how it's a 14 day course. I'm not going to implement it for them. And I say how it's step-by-step -step video lessons, online video tutorials, where you can ask questions, etc. So I'm really, really clear about what is the offer when they click so that they're not surprised when they get there. And if you have a look here, 
This is my click-through rate, so not an amazing click-through rate, but it is a really good conversion rate. So I know that if I do get a click, it actually converts very well, which is what I want. So I don't want the wrong people to click. I actually only want the right people to click, and then they're going to hopefully also convert very well. The bonus tip that I have is to also really think about and focus on improving conversions on your landing page. What do people do once they click your ad and get to the landing page? Do they leave straight away or do they actually spend some time scrolling through your website and actually looking if is this product right for me? I'm a big fan of installing some kind of heat mapping software so that you can see where engagement is, you can see where the drop-off rates are, what people are clicking on that possibly they shouldn't be clicking on, and really in trying to improve the engagement and user experience for people. So many people don't focus on the traffic that actually does come to their landing page. And if you can just improve the landing page conversion rate by one or 2%, then it's gonna have a massive impact on the profitability of your ad campaign. So you definitely want to understand what your users are doing when they get there and are they doing the right thing? And if not, then you need to make some changes because that affects all the traffic that comes to your landing page, not just the Google ad traffic. So there are my tips for what you should do to improve the conversions of your Google ad campaigns. Let me know in the comments what you think. And if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching.